When deciding how to pay for things, you may have choices, including cash, credit, and debit cards. There is another option you might not be familiar with, and that's a reloadable prepaid card. In the next couple of minutes, I'll explain exactly what that is, how to use one, and some of the pros and cons. By the end of this video, you'll have a good idea if a reloadable prepaid card is right for you. A general purpose reloadable prepaid card isn't a credit card or a debit card, and it's not the same as cash or a check, but it can be used in many of the same ways. You can generally use one to make everyday purchases, shop online, pay for travel expenses, withdraw cash, provide others like a teenager, nanny, or elderly parent with a way to pay for things, deposit your income, or even pay bills. Prepaid cards even look a lot like credit and debit cards, but there are important differences. With a credit card, you buy now and pay later. With a debit card, you buy now and pay now. But with a prepaid card, you pay now by placing funds on the card so that you can buy later. That means that before you can use a prepaid card, you have to load it with funds. You decide how much money you want to add onto the card. Depending on the card, you may be able to load it online, in person at a participating business, or automatically using cash, a credit or debit card, a wire transfer or direct deposit. As you use the card, the money you spend is deducted and the balance goes down. When the balance gets low, you can reload and keep using the card. As long as there's money on the card, you can generally use it anywhere that accepts cards from the same payment network like American Express, Discover, MasterCard, and Visa. Just like credit and debit cards, reloadable prepaid cards have advantages and disadvantages. Let's talk about the advantages first. If you lose cash, you're out of luck. But in many cases, you can get your money back if your prepaid card is lost or stolen. Most prepaid cards don't allow you to spend any more than what you've loaded on the card, so you can't overspend and run up a balance the way you can with a credit card. It's easy to get a prepaid card even if you can't get a credit or debit card, since there's no credit check required. A reloadable prepaid card that allows direct deposit and telephone or online bill payments could save you money for stamps, check cashing fees, and money orders. For someone new to using plastic, a prepaid card offers the opportunity to practice important money management skills. Many cards offer the ability to set up alerts so you can monitor your spending. Using a prepaid card doesn't impact your credit score, and that can be an advantage if you have trouble managing your money, or a disadvantage if you're trying to build credit, which brings us to some of the disadvantages of prepaid cards. All prepaid cards charge some fees, but some prepaid cards charge a lot of fees, so choosing the wrong card can be expensive. In general, purchase and fraud protections are not as strong on reloadable prepaid cards as those offered on credit or debit cards. Because the amount you can spend using a prepaid card is limited to the card balance, you might find yourself running out of funds when you need to buy something quickly or you have an emergency expense. Since a prepaid card isn't a form of credit, you don't have the option to spread the cost of your purchases over time. No payment card is perfect for everyone or every situation, but if you think a reloadable prepaid card could be the right choice for you, visit Consumer Actions website to learn more about them and view our video, Choosing and Managing a Reloadable Prepaid Card to get tips on selecting the best card and using it wisely. Explore other personal finance and consumer topics at consumer-action.org.